So hello everyone. In this video, I am going to explain the construction of parabola by uh, rectangle method. In the previous uh, videos, uh, I have explained the construction of ellipse by rectangle method, uh, by concentric circle method, and the general method, which is also called focus or drive method. Uh, in this video, what uh, I am going to explain the rectangle method for constructing the parabola, which is quite similar to the rectangle method of ellipse, but there is a small change as we are going to construct parabola uh, in this method. So it is given in the problem that the base, uh, which is the horizontal axis, it is given to us that is 70 mm, and the height or the vertical axis of the parabola that is given to us 50 mm. So we have to construct parabola by uh, rectangle method. It is given horizontal for the base that is 70 mm and the height that is 50 mm. We have to construct by using a rectangle method. So let's start the construction of rectangle method. So the first step. We have to start with the base which is given to us 70 mm. So draw a line. So draw a line of length 70 mm. Name it capital A and this is the capital B, which is representing the base of the parabola. Next step is as the height is given to us 50 mm. So bisect the AB. Bisect means at the from the center of the AB uh, line, draw a vertical line. Draw a vertical line of length 50 mm, name it capital C and capital D. Now uh, in this rectangle method of uh, parabola, the complete CD should be above the AB. You have to plot the vertical line CD as length 50 mm and that should be above the uh, AB line. In ellipse, what we have done, we have done 25 above 25 below, but in case of parabola, we have to keep the complete CD 50 mm above the uh, AB. So the next step is, as the name of the method is rectangle method, so we have to complete the rectangle. So how to complete the rectangle? Just draw the vertical line from the A, similarly vertical from the B, and horizontal line from the C. So complete the rectangle. So our next step is we have to divide we have to divide the vertical line and the horizontal line into equal number of parts. We have to divide the horizontal and the vertical line into equal number of parts. Now equal number of parts means this is the vertical line and this is the horizontal line. We have to divide this vertical and horizontal into equal number of parts. Now the numbers should be equal. Numbers means if you are dividing this vertical into five equal parts, you have to divide this horizontal into five equal parts. So the numbers, numbers should be equal. This should be equal. I am not talking about the distance. The numbers should be equal. If you are dividing this vertical into six equal parts, you have to divide this horizontal also in six equal parts. Now let's divide it into five equal parts. So suppose when you divide this vertical into five equal parts, suppose this is a first. Second, third, fourth, five. So the numbering should be like this. This is one, this is two, this is three, this is four, and this is five. Similarly, you have to divide again the numbers of this AD division should be five. Again, you have to divide this AD into five equal parts. Suppose I have divided like one, two, three, four, and five. So numbering should be like this: one, two, three, and four, and this is five. So you can use the graphical method to divide the line equal number of parts if there is a matter of fraction. If there is not a matter of fraction, you can easily divide by using the scale. You have to divide it equal number of parts. Next step is you have to join all the vertical points. You have to join all the vertical points to the C. Vertical points means these are the vertical points which is obtained on the vertical line. So join one C, you have to join one C. You have to join 2C, join 3C, join 4C. You have to join all the vertical points to the C. Next step is you have to drop the vertical lines from the horizontal points. You have to drop the straight vertical line from this horizontal point. So once you drop the vertical line from the horizontal points, it should be like this. So from 1, this is the vertical line. And it will intersect the 1C line at some point. This is the first point from where the parabola is going to pass. Similarly, from the 2, draw a vertical line. Second point, similarly from the 3, vertical line. Third point, from the 4, vertical line. This is the fourth point. So we will be getting four number of points. So we have to join 
start work loop with the A, you have to join all the points and you have to come at the C. Again, I am not using any technical instrument, that's why the curve I am getting is not that much smooth. But when you draw, please use the technical instruments and also the number of division of equal parts that should be proper uh, for getting the proper uh, points and the curves will be smooth. Now, half of the parabola has been completed. For the remaining half of the parabola, what we can do? We are having the two options. The first option is we can obtain the mirror image of this point. Already we are having first point, second point, third and this is the fourth point. So, if we can obtain the mirror image of this point on this part of the time by keeping this CD as the axis. So, once you get the mirror image of this point, you can complete the parabola. Other method is, again, repeat the same procedure on this part of rectangle. Repeat the same procedure means, again, divide this line to 5 equal parts of 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Number should be like this, 5. Similarly, 5 for this, so 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Number should be like this. So, you can repeat the entire procedure, so join the vertical points to the C. Drop verticals, intersection, mark the intersection point. So we have repeated the same procedure on this part of the angle. So again we have obtained this the first point, second point, third point, fourth point. Again when you join, when you join this point automatically you, are, you will be getting a smooth parabola. So this is the rectangle method to construct the parabola. Now in this uh, method, only the rectangle, uh, sorry, only the parabola should be dark. Remaining all the lines, including the rectangle and the joining lines, that should be very light. So this is the rectangle method to construct parabola. Thank you.